Hey everybody, Isaac Wardell here, and I wanted to show you Edge Rank Checker Pro today. Now, if you've watched some of my previous videos, you'll heard me talk about Edge Rank Checker. Uh, I did a video when they had first come out, and they had a free version. They did not yet have a pro version. Had limited features at that point in time. It was still a great product. I've talked about it on my blog, etc. Uh, today, though, I want to talk about the pro version because I've been on it for a few months now. Works great, uh, and they're continually adding new features. In fact, this weekend they just added a new feature, which uh, I was privileged to have beta access to. So thanks to the guys at Edge Rank Checker for valuing my feedback into that. Uh, when you come to edgerankchecker.com, uh, you'll see this page, and if you're not already logged in, there will be a connect to pay, uh, Facebook option right here where it says select a page. Now, if you're logged in to Edgerank Checker, you'll see that it says just select a page. After you connect to Facebook, it'll go to your dashboard, uh, actually, and uh, if you're logged in, you can just do a straight jump to a page. But you'll see here that you've got all your pages listed. Uh, the ones that are on a pro account will be designated as such. Uh, the rest of them will not automatically refresh with their score unless you go in there and manually refresh them. It just it costs a lot on their database to continually update every single page with the most constant score. But uh, you can go in there and manually refresh it. So if you go ahead and just click on a uh, page that has the pro feature and you can uh, go into your account and decide which ones you want on a pro account um, it does cost per page depending on how many fans you have but uh, if you've got a good page that you want to really understand it's well worth the money alright so you come in here you've got your edge rank score which is uh, kinda like a uh, I call it a Facebook engagement score that's my little personal way of explaining it it basically takes all the little interactions and all the little impressions and everything and rolls them up into a score so if you're just wanting to keep track of how you're doing over time this score will give you how you're doing on Facebook uh, over that specific amount of time. Uh, they've got some more details here, most new fans, uh, least new fan days, worst days, best days, uh, etc. You can watch your edge rank checker score over time. You've got more details here such as uh, how you're doing compared to the previous specified time. Uh, your best worst is just a lot of uh, interesting things here. Uh, you can find your best likes hour, your best impressions hour, uh, etc. Some keywords from your post. Here's your most recent post and uh, this is a new feature that they've added where they give you a grade on your post on an A through F scale. So as you can see uh, some of my posts here haven't been doing uh, so great. This one got uh, six comments but it got a C grade. So actually let's just go ahead and click on that and wait for it to come up here so this post got an overall rating of a C alright now I uh, you can see that they're giving you the different grades on the different types of things that they're grading so engagement it got great engagement six comments which you can see up here uh, it got a D in impressions and only got 187 impressions so only about half of my um, audience saw it um, reach, viability, lifetime, it had a very short lifetime, uh, about, uh, what is that, about three hours and 15 minutes. Um, so the average that one of my posts receives is more like seven hours. So it had a, about half the lifetime there. Uh, timing, it wasn't exactly uh, put out at the best time. Did get a lot of engagement, especially compared to the average. Uh, impressions, it didn't uh, do as well as some of the others. Uh, anyway, so there's a, just a lot of interesting data here that you can really drill down and find out why something scored lower or something scored higher and really fine tune your posting on Facebook. Uh, Virability, that's the uh, number of unique people have created the story and commented on the uh, answering the post to your page as a percentage of the people that viewed it. So if 200 people viewed it and 10% uh, of them commented on it or liked it or engaged on it, something created a story about it, you would have a very high virability uh, on it for an example here. So exact, So here you can see um, unique impressions was 73. I had 
five comments or stories created around it when I got an average of two so that was a very high viral um, so to speak uh, score on my uh, on my post there anyway so uh, obviously a bunch of detail there if we go back to the uh, previous page here which is kind of your dashboard for the edge rank checker uh, for your specific page on edge rank checker pardon me uh, you can see you get your average score breakdown compared to other pages um, a little bit of explanation as what to each of these things mean and then one of my favorite features is the view recommendations uh, coming into here whoops my internet's been a little bit funky this morning so that's uh, my fault I'm sure all right, you can see here the their recommendations is that we post uh, two times a day, uh, that we use a photo, and that we post between 6 and 8 p.m. It seems I get the most engagement during that amount of time. And you can kind of see your uh, impressions and different graphs here. Again, you could spend you know hours really getting down and fine-tuning. Uh, the thing I love about Edge Rank Checker is that you get as much detail as you want at any specific time if you just want the absolute highest how am I doing you just look at the score you know how you're doing compared to previous times if you want to start getting a little more detail you can get a little more detail if you want a lot more detail you can get a lot more detail and really fine-tune your Facebook uh, post so that you get the absolute maximum impact uh, just as an example here, so I may have gone from the score I made to want a recommendations I come into here, but I'm like, I want more detail. I can come in here and say, uh, today's Tuesday. I want detailed recommendations for Tuesday. You know, you may have different recommendations on Friday versus on Tuesday. Um, so here it's saying post one time today and post a photo between 6 and 8. Now if I were to go to say uh, Friday, I'll probably get a different recommendation. Here it says post two times a day, post a photo, 6 to 8. Let's try Wednesday. All right, it says between 9 and 11. So each day it's got it fine-tuned. So I could just go at the overall level or I can drill down to each day. Here it says post three times a day on Thursday and post a status update. So this is just a, another great feature. Um, again, you got to play with it because it can only go off of past experience. Uh, it doesn't generate these automatically that it automatically knows what your audience likes. It's generating it off of what they've responded to in the past. Uh, so there's a, a few uh, different things that um, Edge Rank Checker Pro has. Uh, again, this is a pro page, the free one. Uh, it just includes uh, this little part up here, your score, your best and worst days, uh, and then the rest of this is actually part of what you have to uh, pay for. So like I said, I use it, um, and my favorite part is uh, two things the recommendations and the idea that I can look at it at any level the high level of just the score or I can drill down as deep as I want into the details and really fine-tune my posting uh, on a page uh, we also do this for a lot of client pages to really check out how they're doing and of course with the new grading scale for each of the posts uh, I can now have my employees fine-tune their skills by saying you know check out the ones that are getting a higher score why are they getting a higher grade we need to create more posts like that anyway so I hope you found this video helpful I have a lot more free coaching videos and white papers and uh, a ton of stuff on the back end of my website that I give away for free if you just sign up for my weekly newsletter which you can do on the front page of my website at isaacawardell.com I look forward to seeing you over there